it's the binary zero and one, as we know, the digits, the basic digits of the states, the two states we have, the zero and one. We also, in general, represent, uh, we can represent it as an example of a switch. When the switch is in the on state or the off state, we can say it is in the binary zero state, means it is in the reset state, and when it is on, it is in the start state, that is the binary one value. I mean, that is an example, what I think of, but what according to you is, uh, some other example over the binary state change. Hmm? It would, so that it becomes more clear for our viewers, you know? Yes, exactly. Switch is a perfect example for a binary state. All right, so let's proceed here. That how many items does a binary number represent? All right, it's 1011 one, one for an example that is a binary state. We take one into two raised to three, again the weights, and we multiply and finally or them or add them and get a probability or the resultant value as 11. And that is in the decimal format. It's very clearly indicated here. What about fractions? We again take the same format, take the, take the codes, and then one by one we multiply, that is we add them and then finally we or them. Now the group of eight bits are called as a byte, that is, the digits from 1 to 8, which can be any combination of digits in binary format, are called as a one particular byte. And then the groups of four bits are called as a nibble. So all these bits inclusive of 8 to in total becomes a byte, and 4 in total becomes a nibble. Putting all this together, this chart indicates the decimal, the binary, the octal, and the hexadecimal, and then finally the BCD codes. Binary, octal, and hexadecimal are similar. Means, in the sense that they can be changes in them or conversions in them can easily take place. When we talk about decimal, it can be converted to binary, and similarly, binary can be converted to decimal. When we take the decimal, again it can be converted to octal and then octal to decimal conversion is possible. The same goes with the hexadecimal also. It's easy to build circuits to operate on these representations and possible to convert between the three formats. As I indicated, the conversion is possible between decimal, binary, or octal, binary, or binary hexadecimal, or hexadecimal octal, or any of these formats. Let us have a look on what exactly are non-weighted codes. The gray code is one of the non-weighted code, the first of the types, and has a digit from 0 to 16, 15, I'm sorry, 0 to 15, and then binary values correspondingly, and then the gray code values in correspondence. The gray code is not a number system. It is an alternate way to represent four-bit data. Only one bit changes from one decimal digit to the next and then it is useful for reducing the errors in communication. And this can be scaled to larger numbers. So uh, let's compare them. The binary codes values goes as, the, for a particular digit of zero, it goes as zero, 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 zero. For one, there is a one state change of zero, 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 one. For two, there is a two state change. That is a zero, zero, one, and zero. And coming up to the gray code, we can see in clearly that there is a one bit change from 0, 0, 0, 0, for an example. It changes to 0, 0, 0, and 1. So there is a one bit change here. The next follows 0, 0, 1, 1 for the digit 2. That is a decimal digit 2. That means the states, as seen here, are all, are all uh, 0, 0, 1, and then 1 is the same. And so it becomes zero and only one change of one. So that is what is gray code. It has only a one bit change. That is why it's known as gray code. In uh, addition to my explanation, what do you think? Uh, uh, so uh, I feel, Shiva, we can convert this binary to gray code and then gray to binary code. And what is your suggestion over this? Yeah, we can convert any sort of codings into binary code. Likewise, we can convert gray code into binary or binary to gray code. In later sections, we can discuss about this topic. All right. And uh, anything else you would?